After more than two months of work in downtown Richmond, the multi-million dollar Broad Street repaving project is wrapping up. 8 News reporter Olivia Jaquid joins us live from Broad Street to break down the latest changes and what exactly they're meant to address. Olivia, I can see a lot of work happening actually right behind you. Yeah, definitely, Deanna, and I want to clarify because that physical repaving project actually finished ahead of schedule, but now this painting work is set to continue through the end of August. So as you noted there, you can see this work, this traffic going on, certainly during rush hour. And again, that's continuing on these GRTC specific lanes, which are being painted red in an effort to make this high traffic area just a little bit safer for everyone. Painting the pulse lanes red. After more than two months of work on Broad Street, Richmond's $12.8 million project is in its final phase. Crews seen painting the street red to help distinguish the Pulse bus only lanes for other drivers on the road. How do you convey that? You know, I guess the red, maybe that's why they thought that would be a good idea because it's in your face. But for longtime residents like Dave Murray, it doesn't get their attention. Again, I, I feel like it's a day late and a dollar short. Government data shows that there were more than 140 crashes on Broad between 3rd and Staples Mill in 2020 and over 190 in 2021, though these are not necessarily specific to GRTC. There have also been several pedestrian-involved crashes with other vehicles on that stretch of road. The goal that this new lane color will help with efficiency and pedestrian safety. I hope it does something. Uh, I do. I mean, it won't stop the fact that people are making U-turns on a no left turn and, you know, breezing down the bus lane like it doesn't matter. I mean, we have people parking in the bike lanes on First Street. Pedestrian safety, bicycle safety, and vehicular safety in Richmond really should be taken more seriously. Now, from painting to paving to milling and all of that work, this originally, this Broad Street project rather, was originally slated to end today. However, now we're told that this red line painting is actually a separate $2 million project, which did start ahead of schedule, but again, is slated to wrap up at the end of August, weather permitting. For now, live in Richmond, Olivia Jaquith, 8 News.